Okay, we are getting ready for a trip up north, so northern Idaho, but need to do some maintenance on the car before we get going, so no troubles, fingers crossed, on the road. So, needs an oil change, it's at 10% life, so it just need to be done anyways. But I'm thankful because in my driveway here, out of the garage, it goes in a down slope, so it's got to kind of prop it up sometimes sometimes I just use the jack but I thought this might be easier and it's a nicer day out so let's get this oil change done and then on to the next car because I gotta do that one too It's not water, because it's oil. Now we're changing the oil in the car. See here, that way is to tighten. See, it shows up arrows, that's the way it tightens. So you can go the opposite way, so it needs a need to go that way. I am. Okay. Oh man, I made a big old mess. Big old mess. Changing the oil in the Honda, buddy. So, ah! so here's a little trick. Take oil filters and just kind of rub them together. Some nice oil on that seal. Something my dad taught me. Here's another thing about putting threads on the threads. Kind of back it out until you feel it step. So you make sure you're right there. So you make sure your threads are aligned. Last thing you want to do is cross thread any of your threads on your car because it's just not a fun thing to have to deal with. And. Ah, oh, really? At least I got that off. I went right in the oil. Kind of an inconvenient place, that's why I went with this.
Hold it. Hold. Hold. Oil life 100% right there. And should be good to go. Sweet. from this morning. That's a better catch. Wait, reverse it and then you thread it on so you don't cross thread your threads. Just snug for now because I want to do that again. Let's get the Filter, which is right here. Okay. Nice and gentle. Good. Not a rotate, just nice and snug. Two. 
rules, but long. So, you see, that's from the Honda funnel into the new, or was the new, uh, oil jug. And so, once it's in here, um, I'm going to take it over to my uncle's house. Because my uncle, he actually uh, uses the oil in a, I think it's like a fire. It goes into a shop. In his shop, he has a motor or a burner that uses old oil to provide energy and heat to his shop. And so I just take the old oil over to him and he take, takes care of it from there. So it's a win-win for me, so I don't have to dispose of it at a certain place. I just bring it to him and he, he uses it. So it's putting old oil to use instead of just letting it go to waste. Alright, wrap this guy up by doing the same thing here. I'm gonna cap this one off and change it out. Back into the garage and I'm gonna check air filter. Should be good because it's replaced the paper air filter to a K&N reusable filter. Talk about years having this car not doing that would. <clears throat> yeah. It's 40 bucks for a new, for a K&N filter. When you replace the air filter in these, it's like five to 10 bucks each time depending on the grade. Just get yourself a can and reusable one. Saves you money in the long run. Just like I do my own haircuts. Because instead of paying 15 to 20 bucks a month, do it myself. Save me that money. Invest it. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna get it. All right, here's another little life hack that I do is just so you don't lose, hey, when should I change my oil in a car that doesn't have a, I guess, hey, you're at 10% oil and stuff in your car. So I guess a computer chip that tells you. Right here in the window, that's where it's at right now. Focus. Oh, come on. There it goes. So that's where it's at, add 5,000. And that's where it'll be. All right, everyone. The oil changes are done. So now I'm just cleaning up the tools, putting things where they belong, getting everything rounded up. So I'll catch you later, crew, in the next one.